Why didn't my BBL last? BBL question, the topic of always discussion, my fat didn't stay, Dr. Morales, I lost it all. Why didn't it stay? A lot of it, actually a lot of it has to do with the surgical technique. It's not the patient's fault. It's, it comes, I think a lot of it has to come down to the surgical technique. Every surgeon's technique is a little bit different. Hopefully, if you have a board certified plastic surgeon doing your procedure, you have the optimal technique that's in safety, as well as efficacy. The idea is you want to minimize trauma to the fat cells. These fat cells are small little bubbles of just fat. Super, super, super fragile. You want to be nice to them. You don't want to cook them. You don't want to stir them up in a pot. You don't want to leave them out on the table getting hypoxic, which you don't have an oxygenation. It's really important to get those fat cells into your body as quickly as possible, as gently as possible. So it just blows my mind when I see surgeons doing treatments such as vaser, which is basically you're melting the fat and then you're transferring that fat into the body. You turn it to oil. It makes zero sense. So that is automatically dead. They're, all that fat's dead. And so of course those patients are gonna come after surgery and say, I, I don't have any results. Of course, because you just had liquefied dead fat transferred back into your butt. And of course it's gonna die, it's dead, it's gone. You're not gonna have any result. Super frustrating for me when I hear patients tell me they've had vaser surgery with a fat transfer. It's, it's almost a guarantee you're not gonna get a result. The idea is you wanna have more of a, a mechanically atraumatic uh, procedure where we're taking the fat out in a more of a lower volume, uh, lower pressure state, transfer it in a low pressure state, keep it on the back table as minimally as possible, keep it clean, wash with antibiotics, and get it back in the body as quickly as possible. And that's really the optimal technique and even then, the best, you know, fat percentage, we're going to get 60% fat survival. 40% just can't survive the mechanical trauma of taking out of the body and then transferring back in the body. It's really the reality of it. So patients who say I had no result, you know, it's, you just got to ask a little bit more questions to see maybe what are the reasons, maybe the surgeon technique, you know, how they did it. it it's very, very common that it actually is surgical te surgeon technique dependent. So... Great question. It's always going to get a lot of comments, so don't forget, leave a comment on this comment section below. If you like this content, don't forget, like and subscribe. And thank you again for following.